All right, I just have to do this uh, because I'm in this buddy read in Matt's Fantasy Book Review Discord and uh, really loving it again. This was my favorite series of 2002. No, 2022 that I read. And I've been trying to get people that I know to read it ever since then, especially because of the second book. And as soon as I finished that second book, I was like, it just blew my mind. It was so exciting, so mind-blowing. I look at the stars different. Just so many things happened, and I want to talk about it. So I'm just glad that people are finally getting into reading it. And I hope that somebody on my channel also takes me up on it. I know a couple are. I hope more people do because it's. I just find it so, so compelling. Now... Really quick, I understand why people wouldn't vibe with it because it's not really so much a character first sort of story. It's very rooted in, like, it, it feels very much like this world. It's not a, it's not written, uh, it's not Western. It is from uh, this Chinese author, and it, it's very kind of. It, it takes place in China, at least, at least this book. It kind of. Uh, I think most of it just takes place in China. But there are a lot of things going on. Now, I want to talk really quick about a few things if you don't really know what you would be getting into. Um, and then near the end, I would maybe talk about some specifics about where I am at. Uh, I, I've read the first 160 pages over the last couple days. And, you know, I'm just reminded how exciting the book is. Or, or the series gets even though the first book if you're on this channel likely because of Malazan kind of has gardens of the moon syndrome where the first book uh, a lot of people are very in, like kind of on the fence about it like what what was this uh, but it's the second book that it, like explodes into its own now there are a few things going on the it's kind of split into three parts the first part is about 50 pages, um, and it, it's more like a prologue. It happens 40 years before, and it is based in the Cultural Revolution in China, so 1967, I believe. Uh, and we have, you know, this is where it's just popping off, and they are attacking the intellectuals and scientists and basically calling... Uh, theoretical scientists or physicists, uh, reactionaries and stuff, and they're being killed. They're being publicly killed. And the the very first chapters of this is like this brutal, this brutal scene. And one of the people uh, that are killed, uh, you know, has has this young daughter, and she is witnessing this this happen. And so uh, we kind of get that perspective. And then it sort of jumps to her a little bit older. She's in this kind of lumber camp sort of thing. And she's also a scientist. Like, she's very smart. Um, she kind of took after her uh, her mother and father. Excuse me. Uh, even though that's, you know, we get into that a little bit. Uh, but she is working in Siberia or, or northern China. I, I can't recall. I can't recall. Uh, not Siberia. But she she gets, you know, information is still quite, uh, they're sensitive about that. There, you have to be careful with what kind of stuff you are dispersing. And she has, she gets involved with some things that she maybe shouldn't have. And she ends up at the end of this first part, which is just short. And it's just like a, a part of this. So I hope this is okay to tell you guys um, at this at this base. Where instead of going to jail, at least she can go to this base that has this big ra uh, radar. And she can work as like a, you know, she can work. Uh, they can make use of her expertise and you know, that kind of thing. She She was selected. Uh, for that reason and then yeah kind of ends with with that and jumps ahead 40 years uh 
we do get a little bit of that back and forth from her perspective and some of the things that happened 40 years later. Um, and you get to see kind of what they're doing. Even she's kind of confused what they're doing. But in the common era, scientists are like committing suicide. You know, they're either being killed or they're just committing suicide. And people are like, what is what is going on? Uh, the government's trying to figure things out. There are different kind of uh, groups that are uh, trying to figure out sort of what's going on. Something's got them very rattled. Uh, we have people are doing these physics experiments that are kind of not what you would expect. Um, they're not reacting the way they would expect. Like It's like there's this chaotic element where it's not predictive like it used to be. And, and it's just got them really, really rattled. Now, uh, there are two things that I want to talk about that are a little bit more specific about the first 60 pages. Uh, and, and mainly for people who still would be on the fence, uh, who, who, you know, they might need a little bit more of a boost. And it still doesn't get to where the series can get. Like, it, it still doesn't really give the bean, uh, spill the beans. But there are a couple things that are going on. There is this, uh, there is this countdown. And, uh, you know, I, I want to talk about it a little bit, but not the specifics. But there is this countdown happening that this guy is starting to detect. And it's, it's freaking him out. I won't say how this is happening, but he's, he's seeing this countdown of like 150 days or something. And he is like, what happens at the end of this countdown? Um, he's also a scientist for, for like nanotechnology. And, and just like he, the, the way that he's seeing this countdown is very, is very cool and very weird and doesn't have really a descript or a, a, a reason why this is happening that he can figure out. And, and that is something very interesting. That's when kind of the sci-fi comes to life. Um, so we have his, we have him doing that. And there's this other thing, and it has to do with, with the name of this book. It's called The Three-Body Problem. And The Three-Body Problem, uh, there's a theory where you can kind of predict the, the arc of a, a ball, like one object in motion, as well as two objects. But as soon as you throw that third object in, it becomes like, it becomes unpredictable and you can't really do that. Or something like that. I'm not a scientist, but you know. Um, and so there's this video game that scientists and some people are playing. It's like this VR. They have a, a haptic suit. They go in and... The world is very kind of odd, um, and a part of what uh, the people are doing within this is trying to figure out um, the 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 patterns of the celestial bodies in the sky, like, and if they see shooting stars, that might mean something. If they see, uh, you know, the sun will come up at weird intervals, and there are eras of chaos where you have to just you know you have to like terrible terrible eras of chaos that could just like wipe out their civilization and eras of stability and they're trying to predict this and they're you know they're a lot of these people have their usernames are like confucius and other th people from from history kings in china and it's very interesting to see their theories as they're trying to fix, uh, figure this out. And there will be a reason for, for all of this, but it's, it's just kind of compelling to, to see that. And I don't want to give away what happens during a chaotic time and what happens during a time of stability, but it's, it's very, very cool. And uh, I think you guys should read it if you haven't. Uh, I understand why people would find it dry because it's not like... It's not like you have 
this stable boy who becomes this and, you know, is like, you know, has a, a lightsaber and da 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 it, It's not that kind of thing at all. It's more about this situation. Like, what is happening at this radar group? What is happening with these numbers and this countdown? What is happening with these scientists and these physics experiments? And what is happening within this video game? And again, it is my favorite sci-fi series. Uh, and I just love it. But I totally get why some people would find it dry. But again... If you read the first one and people have on the Discord have generally really liked it, I think. Uh, at least that's, you know, it's only the first day, but that seems to be what people are saying. And again, if you find it interesting, just you wait until the second book and the third book as well. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later.